guys, welcome back to the Oilers Fanatic. Today we are going to take a look at some of the remaining goalie targets for the Edmonton Oilers. The UFA goalie market is dried up, so the Oilers will have to go to the trade route to upgrade. To bring in a new goalie, the Oilers will have to move Miko Koskinen. The Buffalo Sabres signed Craig Anderson and Aaron Dell yesterday, but may still be in the market for a better goaltender. They could be enticed to take Koskinen. They have a ton of cap space. Another possible landing spot for Koskinen is where he was almost traded to yesterday, the Arizona Coyotes. They are currently going with Carter Hutton and Joseph Kornosh, but like Buffalo, they want an upgrade on their current tandem. There is also the possibility of moving Koskinen in the trade for the goalie you want to acquire. The first target on my list is Alexander Georgiev with the New York Rangers. Georgiev has requested a trade out of New York, so he's likely to be moved. Last year, Georgiev appeared in 19 games, posting a goals against average of 2.71 and a save percentage of 905. When compared with Miko Koskinen's numbers, Koskinen appeared in 26 games, posting a goals against average of 3.17 and a save percentage of 899. There is little doubt this would prove to be an upgrade for the Oilers. However, I can't see the Rangers taking Koskinen back in return. They are set in goal with Igor Shesterkin and Keith Kincaid. The second target on my list is Jonas Corposalo with the Columbus Blue Jackets. Last year, Corposalo appeared in 33 games, posting a goals against average of 3.30 and a save percentage of 894. When you compare those numbers with Koskinen's, you actually see that Koskinen was the better goalie last season. What you have to take into consideration, though, is that the Blue Jackets were an absolute mess last season. Did anyone on the Jackets come away from last season looking good? The year before, Corpusalo posted a goals against average of 2.60 and a save percentage of 9.11, noticeably better. At the end of the day, I don't think Corpusalo is a massive upgrade on Koskinen, but I think on the Oilers, he has the chance to be a stronger goalie. The Blue Jackets would also have an open spot for Miko Koskinen in their tandem, and are in a rebuild, so taking him for a year shouldn't worry them. Earlier, we projected Tristan Jari of the Pittsburgh Penguins as a potential target, but I don't see that happening unless the Penguins acquire another goaltender. They obviously wouldn't take Miko Koskinen. Ben Bishop with the Dallas Stars is a possibility at some point this season, but he is still rehabbing and apparently won't be ready to start the year. Beyond that, I'm out of targets that can be seen as an improvement on Miko Koskinen. The only other option I see is finding a taker for Koskinen and going with a tandem of Mike Smith and Alex Stalock. If someone was willing to take Koskinen's full cap it, that would free up an additional $4.5 million for the Oilers to use to upgrade the roster or spend at the trade deadline to add. If the Oilers have a player file for arbitration, they could also open a second bio window and buy out Koskinen's contract. The penalty would be $1.5 million this year and next. Smith and Stalock would be a risky proposition for sure, but as I said yesterday, I'm more inclined to try them and see how it goes. That's my feeling, but ultimately, it's up to Ken Holland. What do you guys think? Is there a target I'm missing? Sound off in the comments below. Enjoying the videos? Please like and subscribe for all the latest Oilers content. You've been listening to The Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.